great morning, my extremely great champions. Hope you're all feeling massive amounts of love, passion, enthusiasm, and excitement. Such a tremendous early fresh morning today. Remember guys, it's the early bird that gets the cheese. Today's plan is we're gonna go on a really fun family adventure. We wanna show you Terminal 21. Also wanna share a place with you that sells the best food, but doesn't accept any cash at all. And then let's end off by dispelling five weight loss myths that you probably think are true. If you don't know who we are, I'm Ryan, this is my vlog. Kenzo, my son, the greatest champion in the world. Lalita there in the back, my wife, the best thing that's ever happened to me. And we here in Thailand, living our dream, making videos every single day. And all we wanna do is have mad fun together, make you feel great, and share our story with you. So smash that subscribe button, and let's take it to the next level. If you guys ever wondered what the train in Bangkok, what the experience is like, this is what it's like. It's always so clean. The people here are always like to themselves. Uh, all, it's always super quiet, unless uh, of course Kenzo's on the train, then it'll be extremely noisy just from his little corner. Uh, the thing about this is that it's so 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 cheap. Like you can get, you can travel pretty much anywhere for about like what, like yeah, like a, like under a dollar. The very first time that I ever came here was back in December 2010, and ever since I arrived here, yeah, well, firstly, look at how they dress here. Yeah, like this place is called Terminal 21 because the whole entire theme is like a theme of an airport, and more than it being a theme of an airport, just have a look at the actual place. So more than the whole mall having an airport theme, in addition to that, the whole place is themed on its own, which means stores, little stores like this, are gonna be changing like every three days. Moreover, at the top, there's like what, seven floors here? And each floor has got a, a specific country name. So you'll have like, like Paris, for example, then you'll have like America, and then you'll have whatever, like whatever the country, whatever floor that country is, that's the name it'll be. And it will be themed like that throughout. So everything on that floor will represent everything about that country. So just check it behind me. It's really massive, it's really modern. And the thing is that when I came here, this was one of the first places that I ever went to. And I promise you, my life was never ever the same again. Something just changed inside of me that said, this is where you gotta be. Not, not at the mall, but I mean in Thailand. And how, how motivating and how exciting and how mind-blowing to think that okay 2010 2017 and i've already been here for four, for, for four years that i will actually be living here but not only living here because many people live here but living here with a family having my own real real family which is the one thing anyone that knows me really will know the one thing that i've always wanted is a family so not only do i live in the place that when i came to the first time something just changed inside me but i've got my very own family now let's head on right on to the top where there's a place that sells the most incredible food but doesn't accept any cash at all. For me to say that I like this place would just be the biggest lie. Like I am so crazy in love with this place at Terminal 21. And even after all these years, I'm just amazed by everything. Take example, the way you pay for everything. Everything here is card based. Like they don't accept any cash at all, which makes it so quick and so clean. Another thing are the prices. Like here's some shakes, fresh shakes, so amazing. You're talking about some chicken and rice. You're talking about fish and rice. A bit of uh, uh, papaya salad. And did you know that every single thing here only costs one dollar each? Remember how I was telling you that the toilets here are, okay, before that, remember what we were talking about, about the theme? So like now, we're on the floor that's London, right? So everything here is themed like London. So see the train behind us? That's like a London subway station, right? But what I really want to show you is how the toilets here are much more advanced than like even back home. So check this out, okay, it is open. Check this out. So there you can see stop, start, like spray. You can choose the angle of spray. You can choose how you want the water temperature of the spray. You can choose the seat temperature. And you can choose like how long you want the whole experience to last. 
and all of the toilets are like here, like this here. And this is what I was trying to tell you. This is what I wanted to share with you guys. Now we're on the Japanese floor, as you can see right behind me. And a funny story is the last time that myself and Lalita stood here, we both stood here wearing caps, about 20 kilograms overweight, and she was pregnant with that little champion that you see sitting in his pram. The last time we were here was when Kenzo was still in Lalita. I mean, the last time we were right here was when Kenzo was still in Lalita's stomach. We've just arrived on the ground floor, also known as the Caribbean. And uh, normally this ground floor level is just like full of banks. But as you can see behind me, the whole floor has transformed into like a marketplace. And you can find everything here from like seashells to sugar-free candy floss, which is what we're gonna go do right now. That's where Lalita and Kenzo are. And the awesome thing here about this candy floss that's busy getting made right now is the options that you have available and the characters that you can make the candy floss into. So here, we have uh, Winnie the Pooh. Here we have uh, Donald Duck. And uh, of course, everyone's favorite, Finding Nemo. I am so, so excited. I've always been the biggest and most passionate and most loving uh, fan of Star Wars from being a kid. Every time the new Star Wars movies comes out, I'm always the first to get in line. And Lalita, Lalita's just arranged with them. They, these guys are master creators, master artists, and they're gonna build us the Millennium Falcon. I can't wait. We are 80% complete of the uh, sugar-free Candy Floss Millennium Falcon. Massive amount of shape is starting to take place. I'm so excited for the final product. He's just adding in the, the intergalactic wings, uh, the thrusters, <laughs> and most importantly, setting the boost gauge for subatomic speed. Just because it's sugar-free Candy Floss, it doesn't mean that the aerodynamics can't be on point. This man takes his job very seriously. Nothing but the best will do. 99% complete, guys. He's just setting the harmonized index of consumer prices, and then we're ready to run with this baby. I can't wait. Guys, and there you have it. The Millennium Falcon. Babe, turn it around. The Millennium Falcon. I can't believe this. This is such a big... Babe. What? What is that? My melody. My... My melody? Yeah. What happened to the Millennium Falcon? <laughs> Just got back from such a magical day of journeying and adventuring with the family. Uh, right here, right now, you know, with uh, the buildings in the back, with Kenzo playing in the, in the pool. I can sincerely say that this is of the top five things for me in, my, in, in the whole world to do. You know, right here, right now, with this going on, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. So I just want to ju jump into like five weight loss myths that the majority of people take for granted as true and the first thing is like to anyone boy or girl anyone out there that is wanting to you know lose weight get in shape look phenomenal and they they have this like idea in their mind that they are big boned i just want to dispel that myth as the first one right now everyone's bones are exactly the same size like if you compare skeletons when you die everyone you know proportionately is identical and um just to add additional proof on top of this you know when i used to be a personal trainer i had a customer a client who, who went on to become my best friend, who weighed 99.7 kilograms when she met me, and came all the way down to 63.3. And let me tell you, at 99.7, you could call that she was, bye, you could say she was big boned. At 63.3, she looked like a teenager. The second thing is, carbs do not make you fat. I personally have just come down from 97.7 down to 83 kgs. And I eat carbohydrates every single evening. So it's not about the carbohydrates making you fat. It's, a, it's about what you put on those carbohydrates. So if you eat rice, that's definitely not gonna make you fat. If you eat um, you know, whole grain pasta, that's not gonna make you fat. But add like cheese on top of that, add tomato sauce, you're definitely gonna be getting fat from that. You know? So stick to, to the whole food, such as sweet potato. And, uh, and keep, keep in mind, it doesn't matter how natural you eat. If you're gonna be eating too much of it, anything is gonna make you fat. The other thing I wanna jump into is doing cardio before gym or cardio on its own is not the most effective method of doing it. A lot of people think, Ken's be careful champion, a lot of people think that you should be, you should be doing cardio directly before gym to warm up. That is a, a myth, that is not true. You need to be doing cardio only after training with weights. And the reason why is because while you're training, you're gonna be burning all of your glycogen. So then immediately after training weight, you come down, you start doing that high intensity interval training, which is, and the only fuel you're using there is your fat, okay? 
So those three points are of the utmost importance in losing weight. Number one is uh, do your cardio after training, not before, and not do, don't do it on, your, on, on its own. Keep your carbs to small portions and keep them uh, to natural foods such as you know, brown rices and uh, sweet potato. And uh, don't use an excuse that you're big bone because you're not. It's just that you're fat and you need to lose the, fi the fat. And then you will get that slender, lean model physique look. The other point is you can't lose weight just on a specific area by specifically training that area alone. Like many people only train their stomach under the incorrect belief that they're going to now lose weight specifically in their stomach. The correct way to approach it is you should diet and train and then the over, overall lack of calories and overall increase of like burning of calories will make you lose weight everywhere okay so you can't specifically lose weight in your arms by just training arms and finally so many girls think that if you train weights like you're gonna get big which is completely not true like if you're gonna train weights you're gonna get lean and toned and look magnificent it is an, a complete myth that if girls train with weights they're gonna look like men and the reason why is you as a girl if, if you're a girl <laughs> don't have the, the same levels of testosterone as a man and that's it. Let's just take a look at how beautiful the sunset is here with my family the magical pool these buildings all around us at night time this place lights up like a Christmas tree it looks so good when the sun is completely gone and all these lights come on super romantic and this pool has like actual blue lights. Guys that is the vlog for today thank you so much for your time thank you so much for watching thank you for being a part of this if you haven't subscribed, please hit subscribe. Join the happiness movement. Smile at strangers. Compliment everyone. Be a champion. Be different. Be phenomenal. See you tomorrow.